uh, many companies in these days have their, their logis logistics network structure designed at the very beginning of their business and then it becomes a function of incremental changes and inorganic growth. So they open new stores, change supply schema for these stores, merge with competitors, and as a result, uh, the network may become suboptimal, and it also could have complicated behavior, it, it can be unmanageable, and so on. So, that was the case uh, with uh, the client uh, I want to talk about. It's, uh, it's named Eldorado, and it's one of the largest uh, consumer electronics retailer in Russia. More than uh, 450 towns with approximately 700 stores. And they had three distribution centers uh, in the largest cities of, uh, of Russia, and they wanted to know how to build optimal uh, network, where to locate their distribution centers, how many of them they need uh, to minimize their logistics costs. And another question they had, uh, what should be their capacity and throughput? Sorry. In general, uh, there are two solutions for this problem. We can calculate our uh, solution once. Uh, it, it gives us an optimal solution, but it's not a continuous one. The network may change in time. We can open new stores, but our solution will stay the same. And the only way is to recalculate it. So it doesn't work really well for dynamic structures like supply chain networks or logistics networks. Another approach is to use decision support tool which can be reused when situation changes. When we, we have different structure, we just feed it with new data and get another solution. So for Eldorado company, we developed a simulation-based decision support tool. And key features of this tool uh, are, first of all, dynamic structure. It changes in time. Uh, stores may be opened or closed. Uh, it cares about sales in each store of the network, and these sales can uh, change seasonally, and we take care of daily sales during the simulation. We also build dynamic routes during the run, so depending on the demand, we can send truck to one store or to a number of stores based on some rules. And that's what you, in any case, cannot do with static uh, analytical solution. So uh, it has a lot of different things like full cost model and, and so on. And here are inputs and outputs. In most of the cases, I covered that. And <clears throat> while we were building that solution, uh, the client kept in mind that it's not the only way that they're going to do business. Uh, they were, were thinking about uh, supporting objects in, uh, in this structure, uh, basically cross-docking stations, and new sales channel online stores uh, which should have their own uh, warehouses located somewhere. Internally, 
it has a list of possible locations for distribution centers. And each location has its own uh, costs, like uh, investments or salaries uh, or rental costs and whatever else. So in a single experiment, you can choose whatever location you want. This version already has cross docking stations. And run the model. So as I said, we take care about every, uh, about daily sales uh, in stores. So we, uh, we send trucks based on inventory policy which requires uh, to preserve some level of inventory. Uh, and at the same time, uh, we should preserve uh, some period periodicity of uh, shipments. And of course, we track every single shipment in this model and calculate uh, all the expenses like transportation costs, holding costs, and one of the features they were not able to calculate without simulation is out of stock losses. Uh, if inventory for some group of uh, goods drops too low, it means that people cannot buy some products and uh, we lose money being not able to to sell some product. And that thing is covered in this model as well. I, sh uh, I just showed you a single run, but uh, the main feature of this solution is variation experiment. It runs every possible solution of uh, distribution center locations, starting from one and going to five or whatever number you specify, and shows you the best one. So if we wait a little bit, we'll get a list of solutions uh, ordered by total costs and if we talk about results, the payback peri period for this project, and I mean uh, building this decision support tool, is measured in days. So the, the network structure proposed by the model pays off in days for, for such approach. Uh, other results are ability to react on changes in the network to perform risk analysis. Uh, you can have different uh, sales forecasts, optimistic, realistic, pessimistic, and you can compare uh, network performance for these uh, scenarios. And a, a great outcome we've got for free is automatic budgeting for a logistics de department. Since it's cost-based model, we get cost of full operation for several years, so it's quite easy for them to use that tool for budgeting. Okay. By the way, you might you maybe noticed that I have tile-based map in this project, which I developed specifically for this event. And I know many of you missed that in any logic. So 
So this is online tile map, which currently is developed as a any logic library linked to the project. And I plan to release it very soon in our follow our, our blog. And I'm sure it will be included in Analogic 7.1. It's fast, it's very easy to use. It's cached on, uh, on your hard drive, so you can show agents on top of it. Here are the routes our trucks take while they move. Okay, I think that's all. Any questions?